Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to set up and review this Motorola 24x8 cable modem plus AC 1900 Wi-Fi router plus two phone lines. And the model on this one is MT7711. And we decided that we needed to upgrade our modem and router. Our current modem and router setup is just not working like it should. It's incredibly slow. And so we decided that we needed to upgrade. And uh, this is the one that we decided to go with. And we have Xfinity, and it says right here, certified by Comcast Xfinity for internet and phone services. Phone service requires Xfinity Voice. We don't have Xfinity Voice, so that's not a feature that we're going to be using, uh, but it's there in the future in case we ever do want to uh, you know, upgrade and use that feature. Um, okay, so here is some information on the front of the box about this modem router phone line combination. And then here is a lot more information on the back of the box that you can read through to see if this is the right modem router and phone line combination for you. Um, okay, so I'm going to take everything out of the box and get it organized and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. Okay, so here's everything that was inside of the box. This is the modem router phone line combination. And then here is the ethernet cable and a phone line and a coax wrench and a Velcro cable organizer and the power supply. And then this is the quick start guide. And this is for Wi-Fi setup if you wanna keep your current network name and password. And then this is um, information on how you can contact Motorola if you need to. So make sure that you read through all of this information before you do set up or use the Motorola modem router phone line combination. And on the bottom of the modem router combo is a label that has the network name and password information and some other information as well that we're going to need during the activation process. Okay, so here's the front of the modem router combo, and there was a plastic protective covering over the display here that I took off. And then let's take a look at the back here. So here is the back of the modem router combo. Here's the on off button. And then this is where the power supply plugs in. And here's where the telephone lines go if you have them. And then here are the ethernet ports. And here is the reset button. And here's the WPS button. And then this is where the coax cable goes. And for the coax cable, it says in the quick start guide, tighten the nut so that it's finger tight. You may want to use the supplied wrench. Make the connection snug, but not over tight. Okay, so let me get everything hooked up and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. Okay, so I have the coax cable twisted on and then I have the power supply plugged in. So the next thing that I'm going to do is turn the modem router combo on by pressing the on off button. And we can see that it's turning on now. And it does say in the quick start guide, wait for the green online connection light to stop flashing and remain solidly lit. This may take up to 15 minutes. Um, so this is the green online connection light right here. And we can see that it's blinking now. So I'm going to let this go through the startup process and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. Okay, so we can see that the green online connection light is no longer flashing. So now we're ready for the next step, which is to activate the modem router combo. You can do that by going to Xfinity.com slash activate or by calling the Comcast Xfinity phone number or through the Xfinity app. I'm going to activate the modem router combo through the Xfinity app. This is the overview screen on the Xfinity app. Down at the bottom is a box that says got new equipment to set up and at the bottom of that box is an option that says activate now. I'm going to start by selecting that option. This is the next screen. I'm going to select the your own modem option. Here is the next screen. This screen says let's activate your modem. We'll get you up and running in no time. I'm going to select start activation. This is the next screen and this screen tells us to find an active cable outlet and then give some additional information about that. Since I've already done this, I am going to select next. 
And then here is the next screen and this screen tells us to connect the coax cable and then give some additional information about that. And since I've already done this, I'm going to select next. And this is the next screen and this screen tells us to power up the modem and gives additional information about how to do that. Since I've already done this, I'm going to select ready to go. And then this is the next screen and this screen tells us let's identify your modem. This is where I'm going to enter the CM MAC number. Then once I enter the CM MAC number, I'm going to select next. And then this is the next screen and this screen tells us let's check your connection and then some additional information about that. I'm going to select check connection. And then here's the next screen and this screen tells us we're activating your service, estimated time five minutes. Please don't unplug your modem. And then here's the last screen and this screen tells us your service is activated, then some additional information. I'm going to select continue to Xfinity. Okay, so now that we have the modem activated, I'm going to follow these instructions here because I want to keep the same network name and password information um, as the old router. And so the benefit to doing this, what it says right here, is this will allow all your Wi-Fi devices to keep working without a new Wi-Fi setup. So I'm going to work on this now and then I'll be back to let you know if it worked. I entered the IP address that's in the instructions into the address bar and it brought me to this screen. This is where I entered the username and password information they provided in the instructions and then selected login. Then it brought me to this screen here where it says for security you must enter a new password before proceeding. You may also change the username. I entered a new username and password and then selected save. And then it brought me back to this screen here where I entered the new username and password and then selected login. This is the next screen and this is where I entered the same Wi-Fi network name and password information as our previous router. When I was done, I selected save, then selected log out. Once I did this, everything we previously had connected to our old router was now connected to our new modem router. This Xfinity speed test is for the old modem and router. It shows download speed, upload speed, and latency. And this Xfinity speed test is for the new modem router combination and also shows download speed, upload speed, and latency. Okay, so here's my opinion of the Motorola modem router phone line combination. I think that it was easy to set up and activate, and for us it's increased our download and upload speed significantly. So far, overall, I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.